Hello, good evening. How you all doing today? My name is Artis. I'm the administrator for Hope Cafe Ministry. Hope stands for helping others pray every day. Um, this is called God is Good. Hashtag all the time. Because all the time God is good, y'all. No matter where you find yourself, God is still good. No matter what situation you're in, God is still good. Yes, he is. And also, you can find me on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and Periscope. I do post on those sites as well. Once again, thank you all for your time of tuning in on tonight. Again, my name is Artis, and I'm the administrator here for Hope Cafe Ministry. And so um, tonight, yes, I was just thinking earlier about just how good God is. And I know sometimes we're in situations where we feel like, okay, God, where you at? You know, God, this can't be you because this situation is not good. But it, actually, you have to look for God in every situation because he's in there. And so we have to just learn to just trust God and believe and take him at his word because God's word is true. God is real. His word is you can just depend on it. He is not a man that he should lie. And so I was looking at Romans 8, 28, and it says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. So all things mean that all things, y'all, that very situation that you're in right now, yes, God can turn that situation around. There is nothing too hard for God. Let me repeat that. There is nothing too hard for the Lord. Yes. And I think that sometimes we forget that, y'all. We just forget that, like, maybe, you know what, this is it. I'm going to have to just go on and accept this because this is how it is. No, don't think that. Don't believe that. That is not true. Because Romans 8, 28, again, it says, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So that very situation you may be in now, that seems like all hope is gone. Don't give up. Don't lose hope because God is going to turn that situation around in your favor yes he is and see when god turns it around for your in your favor it's going to be for his glory yes it is and see once he does that that's how other people can say you know what if God did it for you, I know he can do it for me too. And that's how God gets his glory, y'all. And so we have to just begin to trust God. And trusting God is not easy. Trust me. I know. I understand. I've been in seasons like that myself. And so I know that trusting God is not always easy. And so, um, but I want to encourage you all to just cast all of your cares on the Lord. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're in, let the Lord know how you feel. Be honest with God. Be honest, let him know how you feel because God is anointing all sin, all God. He sees you. He knows how you feel. He knows what you're thinking. So you might as well be honest with the Lord. And also John 4, 24 says, God is spirit. And his worship must worship him in spirit and in the truth. So we have to be honest with God about whatever it is that we're in and how we feel about the situation that we're in. Because he already knows that we're thinking it. He knows how we feel. So we have to just tell God. God, this is how I feel. I don't like this. This is this way, that way. And so God's going to honor that. And also, remind God of what his word says. God has so many promises in the Bible, and they're for us. Go to those scriptures and say, well, God, you said right here. And then in this chapter, in this verse, you said this right here. Let the Lord, remind the Lord of his word. And God's going to honor his word. God is not a man that he should lie. His word is real. His word is true. And so, like, when I struggled in areas, I didn't try to say, well, I don't. I said, God, I need deliverance in this area. Lord, I need deliverance in this area. Yes, I did. I invited the Lord in on those situations and see that's how we begin to create a relationship with the lord by being honest and we have to be honest with the lord and most importantly y'all we have to begin to be honest with ourselves and ask ourselves is this pleasing to the lord would god be pleased with this what i'm doing right now be real be honest we're talking about god seeing all knowing all god yes we are and so i want to encourage you all tonight to take everything to the lord in prayer yes it's amazing and it's wonderful that we actually have access to go to the Lord in prayer. That's just such a privilege that we have to just be able to talk to the Lord. You know, um, it's just an honor. So I would say just continue to pray, y'all. Don't stop praying. That's such an advantage that we have to just pray and talk. Anytime, any place. We we serve a God that's here, there, everywhere at the same time that never sleeps, never slumbers. He is a good God, a loving God, a kind God. He just desires to hear from us, y'all, each and every day. He desires to have a relationship with us. God does not want anyone 
to be left without the opportunity to be saved. Yes, we serve such a loving, kind God, y'all. And so um, I just thank you all for tuning in once again. My name is Artis. I'm the administrator for Hope Cafe Ministry. Hope stands for helping others pray every day. And yes, I want to encourage you all to pray and don't stop praying. Pray to God all the time. Whenever you think about the Lord, just stop and say something. Thanks. Today is Thursday and it's just so much to be thankful for. And Thanksgiving is a form of prayer to just say, God, God, I'm just thankful for another day. Lord, I'm thankful you brought me through another day. Lord, I'm thankful for how you just keep on providing for me, Lord. I'm thankful that I could just lean on you and depend on you and count on you, Lord. Let the Lord know exactly how you feel. And so that's all I wanted to share with you all on tonight. Once again, I thank you all for tuning in. And um, whatever y'all do, don't stop praying. Be blessed, y'all.